All right, fam. Welcome to Electron FX. And today we'll be sharing a simple trading strategy that works 90% of the time. Okay. Now, uh, um, before I go into that, I would like you to use um, just five seconds to click the subscribe button, right? So I'll be counting down as I expect you to just click the subscribe button, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you very much for hitting the subscribe button, right? This is for you to get more videos as we'll be dropping more content as the time goes by. Now, let's go straight to the point. A simple trading strategy that works 90% of the time. And this strategy is something I have discovered over time, right? So I wouldn't make this video very long. I'll just go straight to the point. Right? It's a strategy that is used to trade into a support or into a resistance, expecting it to break. And it works most of the time. Now, how is this strategy? Now, we have your resistance. Yeah, we use reach out to your this later on. Uh, you have your support here. Yes, you have your resistance here. All right, at this point here. And now the market, uh, maybe the market has been selling for a while, selling, and this is a zone you have been expecting the market to buy from. So the market has been selling, 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 and then eventually it comes here to this point here. It comes here to this point, at this point here. Right. So now, when the market goes here, you now start seeing some kind of rejection, some kind of pin bars. See the market rejecting here. See the market doing this, doing this, and then eventually it buys up. And now, instead of this market buying and continue going up, you see the market doing this at the top here. See the market doing this at the top here. So the market doing this. This market should have bought to the market doing this at the top here. And then sometimes it may even come and tap here and still go back up, but still it can't break this point. See the market doing this, doing this at this point. It can't break that point. So what is it telling you? So that this at this point here, the market does not have enough buy orders to continue buying up. So what do you do? You simply draw some kind of box to depict that zone that the market is finding difficult to break. And then you are looking to sell this market with hope that it will break this support, right? It means that usually since the market tapped your other block or your support, it's the market to just rally all the way up. But then you're seeing a consolidation just above your support just above your support. So most times, this market is going to dump and break through this support. So in case you are buying and you saw this, just close it because it's going to come for your stops. That is how I avoid this trade sometimes. When you see this, in case you are buying this market, you bought it from here, you start seeing this kind of stuff. This market is consolidating here. Bro, just close the, your trade because it's going to break down and take you out. So for if you want, the, the idea of this video is to teach you how to make the most of it. Either you are buying here and you saw this, close your, your buy, it's not going to buy, it's going to come down. So what do you do? You wait for a sharp rejection. Don't enter when it's accumulating because sometimes it may just give you a stop on just one stop, wicked week, and then before selling that. So you want to see a sharp rejection close. Maybe wait for a one hour candle and you see something like a sharp rejection candle. Maybe the market kind of did this. All right, you can wait for a liquidity grab, liquidity grab as well. So the market did something like this, one sharp week, and then was strongly rejected. What do you do? You immediately, maybe just close. You see the market's close. You simply take yourself, take yourself, and put your stop above that rejection candle, right? So when you see that, you see that sharp uh, rejection. See the market doesn't like it's one sharp rejection, and then come down. You can simply take yourself here, yeah, and after after you take that sell, you should be targeting this support for your take profit because it's going to come there. 
right? Market trades from one zone to another. And for the market to do this, it means that the buyers are not strong enough to keep pushing the price up. So it's giving you the idea that the market is going to sell down. So you can simply take your short position, right? After that rejection, not just when you see the accumulation, after the rejection, you can put your stops a bit above that rejection. Your target should be this support, right? And it's, sometimes it usually breaks. So your risk to reward is one is to four, right? From here down to this point. I'll use Richard to illustrate this, how it has been playing out. So let us just use a read chart to illustrate this concept. Let us use a read chart to illustrate this. This is a read chart to illustrate this. Uh, let's use um, synthetic indices. I saw this recently on Boom 500 on the synthetic indices. Uh, yeah, Boom 500. Okay, let's go to Boom 500 to illustrate this. It's a strategy that plays us most of the time. All right, now this is Boom 500. Okay, let's go to a, uh, a smaller time frame. I saw this, I think, on the one hour or thereabouts. I set on the one hour. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go to four hour. Let's go to four hour. I don't want the chart to be too lengthy. Okay, let the four hour charts load up. Okay, now look at what happened there. If you uh, draw your zone carefully, you notice something that happened there. Look at this. There was some kind of support here. Let's let's be watchful. Just watch what happened there. What happened? Watch this. There was some kind of support zone here. Why? Because we saw the market reject here severally. So if you draw this, look at just look at how the market has been reacting there. Look at this. Can you see this? This is the A4 time frame. See the market came here tap. So there was some kind of zone here. I look at what happened. The market tapped it the first time and bought all the way. But look at what's now happening. Look at what I was telling you about. See what the market was doing. Instead of this market to keep buying up. Right, it came to this zone here. I think if we draw another zone here, and remember this market is bearish, so you should know the trend of the market when you're trying to trade this. So this was a bearish market. So you draw your your your, your line from here to here. Uh, okay. Sometimes it may not even be a zone. It may not even be a visible zone. It can just be um somewhere. You just see the market rejection. Look at this is a bearish market because the market was bullish. We saw a break of structure here. And the market has been selling ever since. So now the market has come to our, our zone. Some people would have bought here because we saw the market buying from this point. And then look what happened. The market kept trying to break here. Kept trying to break here. I look at all these rejection weeks. And then look at what happened. After this last push up and then a rejection week, look at what happened. It came and it broke through. So if you are buying and you saw this kind of setup, it is wise that you close the trade and then look to sell it down to the support. That is a very simple strategy to use in trading this financial market. All right. I saw another example on the um, fix 51S. This is for a bearish scenario. It happens for a bullish market as well. Just the reverse, the reverse of it. All right. So uh, I saw this on 51S recently. Okay. Now, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Right. If you draw your zone, right? If you draw your zone from here, look at that. Something like some kind of zone around there. There was some kind of bullish zone here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. See, so the market came and tapped here and then bust. But look what happened. Look at what happened. The market could not just break above. And if you check, there was no zone. Look at this closer zone I can find. The closer zone I can find is here. This is the major zone I can find here. Somewhere around there. And look at what happened. The market's never reached here. Right? So the market was in this. Remember, this market is bearish. You have to know the trend of the market. There was a break of structure somewhere around the price closed below this candle or thereabouts. But look at what happened. Look at this. Can you see this? See this? After all this rejection, look at what happened. The market broke through. So if you are seeing this, you should have closed your buy and taken your sell and taking your profit at that support because it's most likely going to break. Now, look at what is happening currently in price. Look at this. If you draw your support zone, so if you draw your support zone here, so this will be the support zone. It should be the support zone. Look at this. So draw your support zone here. This is your support now. Draw your support zone here. 
Look what the market has been doing. The market has been trying to buy, but look what's happened. It's not being able to cross here. So I'm expecting this market to dump down. It's going to break down. So I'm expecting this market. So what I will do is I'll wait for the market to come up to this point where I am seeing this difficulty in break, right? I'm seeing the market finding it difficult to break this zone. So I won't take myself somewhere around there after a sharp rejection. I take myself my stops above and then write it down to the support. So this is a very simple strategy. Just look for the trend of the market, look for that support and check where the, the buyers are not able to take price above and then you sell from there, sell it down to the next support. Now, let me see if I can give an example for a bullish scenario. So this was for a bearish scenario, right? So for a bullish scenario, right? For a bullish scenario, all right, you see the market making uh, a series of um, the market was buying, right? It was buying, really buying. It was buying, 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 buying. And then, go up on there. Go up on there. The market came to a kind of um, zone, a kind of resistance zone or demand zone or whatever you call it, or supply. All right, so you see the market come here, and now you take your cell here. All right, so you took your cell, hoping that the market will rally down because that was some kind of serious zone, it's kind of strong zone in the past. So the market came, and then look what happened. So the market started doing, started doing that same stuff. So I see the market doing this. So the market will keep going down, instead of doing this. So maybe even does continue doing this, maybe come and tap that place again. And then continue again and con sorry. My guys may even come back to wrap your entry and then continue doing this, continue doing this, continue doing this, continue doing this. So if you were in this cell, what should you have done? You should have closed yourself because the market is finding it difficult to break through. That means at this point, the buyers and the sellers are not strong enough to keep pushing price lower. So the market is going to come up and possibly take out this. Um, resistance. So, what would you do? You wait for the market to give you a sharp rejection close, maybe one hour pin bar or whatever, and then you buy it back into this zone because it's most likely going to break it and continue running up. So, it means that at this point, the sellers are finding it difficult to continue pushing price down and most likely it's going to take price up. So, you can apply this to um, any time frame of your choice, but I preferably use the one hour and above to spot this. It's a very simple technique that you can use to make the market and make the most of your trading. Uh, I wish I could find it on um, bullish scenario. Let me see if I can find it on big 75. Let me check if I can find it on big 75. Because I think I saw something like that recently. I saw something like that recently. Okay. Load up, load up, load up, load up, load up, load up. Is it visible for us? Yeah, it is. Now, let's go to the one hour time frame. The same idea, the same idea, the same idea, the same idea. Okay, look at what's happening here. The markets came to this resistance. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that thing I'm telling you about. The markets came to this resistance, and look at what happened. It has been rejecting from there. But if you look closely, the market is finding it difficult to go beyond this point here. Right. So the market is finding it difficult to go beyond this point, even though this was some kind of zone. So if you extend this, your chart to here, somewhere around there, there was some kind of um, resistance zone there, right? Somewhere around there. So look at this. There was some kind of resistance zone here. Look at this. But the market could not go below this point. Can you see that? The market cannot go below this point. So what do you do in this kind of scenario? You come to your smaller time frame to see where to take your buy up. So this is a few seventy five. Now, if I try to draw a line to mimic a zone, if I draw a line, I can see something like this, something like a zone around there. Right, and you can see that the market kind of rejected around there. And look at this. Look at price found as finding it difficult to break, even though there was a sell zone here. So what I would have done is I would have bought from here and bought for the way up because this market is going to buy 
is going to buy to this point. So that's the same idea. You see the market, so the market will sell is doing this. It's simply close. If you are, if the place, if the zone is kind of far, it's assume that, that, that the duration was somewhere around there. It is safer to buy from it because you see, it's not really safe to buy here. Why? Because you can see a sales zone is too close. They're like too compacted. So it's not really wise to be buying from this point. So imagine the market was, the markets came here and said in this kind of two year, right? Came back, tapped and then all of that. You can simply take your buy and take your TP above that resistance. So it's a very simple trading strategy that can work for anyone at all. It's a very simple strategy, right? So that is it for now. Our mentorship program is still ongoing, right? If you have a question, just do it or drop it in the comment section. Our mentorship program is going for only $60, a lifetime payment, right? We'll teach you how to trade from scratch. We'll teach you smart money concepts, teach you how to snipe the market, and so many things that you will not find on the internet. Right, so just do it. You can pay in past payments. You can pay thirty dollars now. Pay thirty dollars later. Just do it to hit the subscribe button. I mean, the link in the description page and um, register as soon as possible before the price goes up. Because the more we have students, the more we will be busy and we may take the price in before the end of the year. Maybe he hits it, um, maybe one fifty dollars or whatever. But now take the advantage of this. Register for our course and we'll see you in class. Right, so. That is it for now. Have a lovely day as you practice this strategy and you will see the difference in your trading.